Meanwhile, Tesla plans to start scaling production of its Optimus humanoid robots in 2026. The EV maker initially intended to manufacture up to 10,000 Tesla bots in 2025, but those plans were paused. So, the third-generation humanoid could be redesigned for high-rate production. Elon Musk has said most of the holdup is due to the Tesla bot's highly dexterous hand, which has a reported 22 degrees of freedom. According to Musk, the Gen 3 Optimus Endector virtually matches the capabilities of human hands, which typically have 27 degrees of freedom, including the wrist. By the end of the decade, Musk has expressed confidence that Tesla can scale Optimus production to 1 million units per year. At that volume, he said the humanoids could be priced between $20,000 and $30,000. That's the same range that Kepler's humanoids reportedly started today. Kepler was launched in 2023 as the Chinese government made it national policy to lead the world in humanoid robotics. By November of that year, the company unveiled its first model, the Forerunner K1. The second-generation version, the Forerunner K2, debuted less than a year later in October 2024 at Jitex Global in Dubai with improved hardware, dexterous hands, and a design intended for commercial applications. Kepler says it worked with about 50 potential customers to refine the humanoid for use cases in manufacturing, logistics, and high risk operations. The industrial robot began real-world testing at the SICGM automotive plant in Shanghai in April 2025 for tasks like inspection and assembly support. The Shanghai General Motors factory, a joint venture between SIC Motor and GM, manufactures BIC, Chevrolet, and Cadillac vehicles for the Chinese and select international markets. Standing 178 centimeters or about 5 feet 8 inches in, the K2 humanoid boasts up to 52 degrees of freedom. Each hand has up to 12 degrees of freedom and can lift up to 15 kilograms or 33 pounds. Its fingertips feature 96 tactile sensors for precise gripping and pressure control. Kepler's proprietary planetary roller screw and rotary actuators power smooth and stable movements. Its battery reportedly supports up to eight hours of continuous work per charge. Meanwhile, Shanghai Ant Lingo Technology, an Ant Group subsidiary, claims it started mass producing its first humanoid robot. Also known as Robbie and the company showcased the robot named the R1 at IFA 2025 in Berlin and the 2025 Inclusion Conference in Shanghai. The Jack Mob backed and launched the robotic sub-brand in late 2024, registering it with a capital base of 100 million yuan or about $14 million. Spun out of Alibaba in 2004, and Group has one of the strongest customer bases in the world to sell robotics and AI into. The company began as a LIPE, which was often called China's PayPal, as it served as the secure payment system for Alibaba's e-commerce sites. It's expanded into credit, insurance, and wealth management, building an ecosystem of more than 1 billion users and millions of merchants. However, ANT still faces challenges as this is its first push into hardware. Standing between 160 and 175 centimeters, the R1 humanoid weighs about 11 kilos or 243 pounds and both 34 degrees of freedom. The wheeled humanoid moves at speeds around 1 and 12 meters per second. According to its developers, the robot is designed for tasks like cooking, serving as a tour guide, sorting and dispensing medications, and assisting in healthcare and elder care settings. And group self-developed by Ling Large Language Model enables it to plan and take actions. And is investing heavily in the AI model to compete with the likes of ChatGPT and China's DeepSeek. Pricing has not been publicly revealed. The robotics firm says it's already delivered units to early customers like the Shanghai History Museum. According to a report from Bloomberg, the robot was built with components sourced from firms backed by Ant Group. Shanghai-based T5 robot is supplying joint modules. Its modules can be found on eBay for prices starting around $1,000. The chassis is from the Beijing startup Galaxia AI which has raised more than $100 million for a valuation of around $700 million. While China's humanoids enter the industrial workforce, they're also becoming harder to distinguish from real people. Robotics firms throughout the mainland are rushing their androids to market in every flavor with backing from the Chinese government. For more on the growing array of Chinese synthetic humans creeping out of the uncanny valley, 
check the related video. This viral footage of a Chinese humanoid showing off its resilience recently caught the attention of Elon Musk, who insists Tesla's next-generation Optimus can outdo it. Meanwhile, another pair of well-funded humanoids are entering mass production in Shanghai to beat it to market, including one specifically designed to mimic Optimus. In video from the Southern University of Science and Technology's ACT lab in Shenzhen, Unit's short humanoid is repeatedly kicked and shoved to the ground only to quickly right itself and get back up. The researchers said they trained the robot in simulation so it could practice countless ways of standing back up through reinforcement learning. They then applied the best moves to the physical robot and continued the training cycle until it could reliably push itself back onto its feet in real life. Replying to a post on X, Musk said the Gen 3 Tesla bot is twice the weight of Unity's and almost impossible to knock over. Unit's G1 stands 127 centimeters, about the height of the OG Megan, and weighs about 35 kilos or 77 pounds. So, by Musk's calculations, the Optimus weighs around 70 kilos or 154 pounds. However, the comment reads like a ballpark figure as Tesla's own early spec put Optimus around 57 kilos or 125 pounds, Ho based Unitry followed the viral footage with its own demonstration showcasing the G1 with its so-called anti-gravity mode activated. In a minute and a half video, the robot is put through a grueling acrobatic gauntlet. It flips forward and backward, twists into slide rolls, and springs upright as if yanked by invisible strings. Unitry founder Wang Xiangxiang records on his smartphone as engineers repeatedly knock it down only for the robot to snap back up with uncanny speed. In the past year, the Unit G1 has surged in popularity among researchers, developers, and hobbyists thanks to its relatively low price tag starting around $16,000. However, the robots in the viral demos are higher-end configurations built for academic and industrial applications. They come with stronger actuators, better sensors, and upgraded compute and can cost several times more than the entry model. While the base G1 is mostly limited to remote control, the higher-end versions add autonomous functions like self-balancing, vision-based navigation, and the ability to perform complex pre-programmed motions without direct input. At Carnegie Mellon, researchers recently trained an educational variant everyday interaction skills from human videos. They developed a framework called HDMI, which is somehow short for Humanoid Imitation for Interaction. The process starts with uploading ordinary single-camera video of people performing tasks into the robot's AI system. The model then extracts the motions of the person and the object and converts it into motion data. That data is then translated into movements the robot can practice with its own body and simulation where its digital twin tries thousands of variations in speed balance, and positioning until it discovers motions that actually work in the real world. The reinforcement learning policy pays attention to how the robot moves as well as how the objects it interacts with behave and how contact happens. The researchers said they transferred the behaviors learned virtually straight to the robot's hardware with no extra training and it still worked reliably. That's known as a zero-shot transfer. According to the researchers, the framework enabled the G1 to do 67 consecutive door traversals in the real world. It also performed six different loco manipulation tasks in physical reality and another 14 in simulation. The video training approach is surging in popularity among humanoid robot developers. Tesla is shifting from motion capture suits to training Optimus directly from everyday human videos for task imitation. One of its biggest stateside threats, the Silicon Valley-based figure is building a massive data set using human videos as part of a partnership with Brookfield, one of the world's largest real estate owners and managers with over a trillion dollars in assets and millions of square feet of residential office and warehouse space. The startup reported raising a billion dollars in a Series C round for a valuation of $39 billion. Meanwhile, Unitry is expected to file paperwork by the end of 2025 for an initial public offering, reportedly seeking a $7 billion valuation. According to reports, Unit's IPO is expected to take place on Shanghai's Star Market, a tech-heavy board similar to Nasdaq. Unitry is reportedly seeking a $7 billion valuation.
In Shanghai, Kepler Robotics claims it's commenced mass production of its flagship humanoid, the K2. The startup calls the robot, nicknamed Bumblebee for its resemblance to the Transformer, the world's first commercially available humanoid robot that uses a Tesla-style hybrid architecture.